Okay, so let, let's go. So, sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, okay, first of all, screen recorder is one of the add-on options uh, developed by Milestone to expand the capabilities of an expert tech system. Uh, this is without the need to look into any other third-party vendors or any other third-party third solutions. Uh, this feature allowed the user to get the screen activities of a Windows-based computer or a POS terminal as a video stream and handle it like any other camera feed. This means uh, you can visualize it in a smart client, store uh, the recordings directly into the expert tech system and access and replay those records for uh, investigation. Regarding to the pros and cons about these products, uh, let's take a look. First, the pros. Uh, as, as I said, it's a milestone proprietary feature. Uh, you don't need to go to look into any other third-party vendor. It is compatible with all the XProtect and Husky products. Uh, considering that the Husky M10 is already discontinued, uh, it was it used to be the only exception. Uh, it can handle live video and records just as any other feed in the XProtect system. Uh, it makes no difference to the content that it uh, gets from the PCs. A uh, customer doesn't need to pay extra fees per licensing uh, since it just takes a regular device license key. And finally, it is not invasive for the PC user, so it, it doesn't interfere with their normal operation for the user. Now, uh, on the other hand, there's a couple of uh, cons that we need to keep in mind for these applications as it generates a little extra CPU usage on the recorder uh, PC. It goes around 6 to 8% using the default settings. It's nothing really big deal. It's not really a big amount of extra usage, but you can discard it either. And the second one, the screen recorder application can be seen by the PC user. So uh, it is available, it's accessible for the PC user. And even if they try to, to modify it or delete it, we'll be aware of it uh, by the records by itself, by the recordings. But anyway, well, the, the option is still there. That could be a disadvantage. Well, now, uh, I'd like to comment about this product comparison. I typically have, uh, or is the, the regular comparison. Uh, as for personal experience, this solution results in a very attractive alternative for customers uh, that may think that transact or retail could result in an important impact to their budgets. And under the premise, you don't need to pay extra fees for the licensing or you don't need to require a more a hardware, uh, I mean uh, converters for serial uh, communication, serial to TCP, this could be a very good uh, and attractive solution for them. Uh, of course, you will lose the benefits of searching and filtering by transaction, but in a case of simple uh, association of uh, screen activities with some other video evidences, it uh, may be good enough. So keep it. Uh, you can keep it always as an option for those customers that uh, have tight budget. Okay, uh, let's go to the uh, setting up process. First things, uh, you need to get information and instructions for this product. You can get it on the manuals and guides uh, site under the support section on Milestone's webpage. You will find the XProtect Screen Recorder Administrator's Manual that will help you to get an overview of the requirements that you need to need, that your systems need to meet, uh, as well as the description for all the installation procedure. As well, on the e-learning section, uh, there's actually not a course dedicated uh, to this product, but you can find an installation exercise within the technical configuration level one training. So if you, in case you need to, to take a look into the process, you can uh, take a look uh, over there once again, uh, as many times you need. Okay, uh, let, let's, let's talk about the setting up. Uh, first, you need to get the install, the screen recorder uh, service and application on the computer that you need to get the video stream. You can get this installer at the software download section under the support menu on the Malton website. And once you get it, run the file on the PC you want to record. You're going through a real quick installation process where you need you need to confirm simple questions like language and acceptance of the Malton license agreement. Once it's finished, uh, the XProtect Screen Recorder Administration 
uh, will pop up. Here's your word. Uh, you're going to set up the parameters for the computer to be seen as a camera by the XProtect system. First, you need to set a password for the PC as a way to limit the recording servers requesting and getting video from, from this device. It's very important to keep in mind that in case you forget this password, there is no way to get a reminder and you will have to reset and perform the subsequent changes on the, on the management client. So you better take enough of it. Next step is to set the TCP port that will be used to communicate this PC to the recording server. Typically, you can use the default uh, port 52111 unless this is uh, being already used for another service. Uh, whatever you choose, you need uh, to be sure that if you have a firewall, uh, the selected port has to be open to be able to establish communication. And finally, for licensing purposes, you need to select the MAC address for your PC. Okay, so we can go now to the management client to add this uh, PC streaming to our XProtect system. To do this, it's just as easy to add any other IP camera uh, as a procedure that I, I'm, a, uh, I'm sure that you already know very well. First, uh, we need to introduce the credentials. In this case, the username has to be milestone. And the password will be the one that we set on the screen recorded application previously. Then, we need to select the driver. Uh, in this case, it will be using the screen recorded driver. This can be found under the other uh, category in the driver list. Then we type the IP address of the PC we want to record, the port number we set on the screen recorder application, and select the screen recorder as a hardware model, as we see here in the, the screen. And there you go. Uh, once we uh, once we select to apply these uh, parameters, we get the desktop image of the PC we select to, to monitor. Within the setup, we can we can uh, set three parameters for this video stream: is uh, frames per second, video quality, and recording mode. First, uh, frames per second. Due to the nature of the images we're going to receive, we don't need uh, highly frame rated details. So it is limited to four fra frames per second. It is basically because the CPU usage that may cause on the PC with the screen recorder. Uh, so we need to keep it low. Uh, this really won't affect the performance for the user if we keep it under these parameters. In the case of the quality, keeping it within the range uh, 40 to 70 will be good enough to see clear and crisp image. Uh, as higher you go, you will increase the network and storage consumption, and probably you really won't get a significantly better image. So try to keep uh, within that range. Finally, for the recording mode, they will allow us to choose to get the primary screen stream the screen one, two, or whatever more monitors the PC may have. Or finally, uh, the all screen option, uh, where we will see a mosaic of all the screens that PC have, all at the, all at the same time. Uh, so there it is. Uh, as you can see, this is a very useful and simple to use application. So you have any question about this? We went really... Can you show it in action? Sure. Let me. Okay, here it is. This is the PC where I installed the XProtect screen recorder application. So there, here is my main system, my XProtect system. Here you can see where I'm getting this uh, the desktop streaming from that PC. It is already recording. I have set all the all, I, all the parameters on the default settings. I'm, as I say, I'm trying to keep it, keeping it loud, just to not overwhelm the this this PC. Any other question? Okay, no. 
I think there it is. Uh, okay, I really appreciate your attendance. Uh, thank you very much.